Hi everyone, welcome to Real Life DIY. I'm Rita Joy from the blog Harbor Breeze Home, and today we're going to paint an old dark bookcase with some fresh new paint. So come along, I'll show you how I did it, what I used, and give you as many tips along the way as I can. Here we go. For this project, I'm using cottage paint. Cottage paint is Canadian made, and although it's not in the title, it is a chalk paint. I discovered it through a beautiful shop in White Rock, BC, and was thrilled with its price point. I spent some time at the cottage living shop there and discussed my questions with the owner. She gave me some great tips, the first being that the paint is very thick and can be watered down. I mixed mine up with in a cottage cheese container and used a purdy brush to apply it. My favorite type of brush is the handleless purdy brush, but I seem to have lost it in the move. So this was a normal um, paint brush that I used. When painting furniture pieces, I find it helpful to place the piece up high if possible. My current painting station, obviously, is my kitchen island that I covered with a drop cloth. I worked from the bottom shelf and went up shelf by shelf until I couldn't reach it anymore and then put it down on the floor to do the top shelves. One of the big lures of chalk paint is that it claims you don't have to prime the piece or sand it before you start painting. I did sand this lightly since it had such a thick coat of varnish, but I was impressed with how well it covered in just one coat. Although it wasn't that long ago that I painted it, it's dry enough to cover again. So I would say that that's a really positive thing about this type of paint. The other thing, the other little tip I wanted to tell you is in between coats of paint, I cover my paintbrush with plastic wrap so I don't have to wash my brushes out in between and it doesn't dry up. So now I'm going to apply the second coat and um, one other observation that I've made is this paint also does not smell. So if you have trouble with smells, I've noticed this really doesn't smell very much. So if that's one thing that is important to you, this might be the kind of paint you like to because it does not smell. After doing two coats of the Narvik Blue chalk paint, I let it dry overnight before applying the acrylic sealer. I used a big fat Miss Mustard Seed round brush to apply it. I put just a little bit of the wax on the brush and rubbed it in like lotion is how they explain it. Then you finish it off by going in the same direction. It dries very quickly in between coats and provides the protective finish that your furniture piece will need. The unexpected little twist of this project is that when it dried, it crackled naturally on its own. I actually don't know how it happened, I don't know why, but I love it. It just seems to give it a little more of that aged look that I really love and I'm excited about using my mom's bookcase in a new way. <music> 